please welcome Gabriella Chilmi. <laughs> Plenty sweet about you. Look at you. <laughs> All young and 17. I've been in a makeup room for a while. So. Wait. <laughs> now, you live here, don't you, even though you're Australian, is that right? Yeah, living in the UK. I've been here for like a year and a half now, so I'm kind of a little bit Londoner. Mm. Do you like it? Yeah, I like it. It's cool. It's cool. The music scene's really cool here, and it's close to everywhere in Europe. Whereas in Australia, we're like 100 hours away from everywhere else. Anywhere. Yeah. 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 Are your family still in Australia? Yeah, pretty much. I have some family in Italy, but most of them are in Australia. Alone. Really? Yeah, I've got my family come and stay with me. There's always one member of my family with me because... Mm. Yeah. Is that why you mm. came here, though, for the music scene, to try and, you know... Or are you already big down under, as they say? Um, <laughs> <laughs> as they say. <laughs> um, no, I released in the UK first and then released in Australia. But, oh, um, right. yeah, I came here for my music, so, yeah. yeah. That, I mean, very young to kind of yeah. up sticks from your home country to come here, a big city, big bad city, and to try and yeah. make it on the music scene. What, where did that confidence or that drive come from? I think because, I don't know, I just, I love to, like, write music and, you know, I, st I started recording my album on the school holidays, like, from when I was, like, 13, so I'd go up to the UK and then go back home and then kind of, I don't, I don't know, I went, when I was overseas, I was writing and recording with people and learning how to write music and that's what I really wanted to do, not, you know, like, ABC and that kind really? of thing. Really? Not, not really interested in school too much? Yeah, no, I like, like, geography and history and, like... We're English. talking about school reports in a little, little while. What, what, oh. would you, what would yours have said? Um, probably calls out to the teacher, or that was my report in primary school. I never used to put up my hand. You didn't I, used I to? Thought, yeah. So, but then I, don't, I think, yeah, I don't know. No. <laughs> probably not. not <laughs> you weren't cool. paying enough attention. Yeah, were probably you? not. Yeah. You, you've performed with some amazing people, haven't you, recently? Yeah, I um, supported um, REM and Kaiser Chiefs in Greece, which was cool. Wow. Yeah. wow. Which is pretty, pretty fun. And then um, I was talking with James Blunt, which oh. was interesting. He's really nice, really posh. Yeah, he, he is, is really posh. posh. He's really, really yeah. posh. You don't expect it, do you, when you see him? He no, looks no, like and a I'm, I'm taller than him. Are you? I reckon. Oh, I reckon. Really just, I reckon I'm just a little bit taller than him. But I'm pretty short, so he's kind of. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you. You're just 17, and you've done all this, mm. and you're going on tour, and you don't. You, you must have chaperones with you, or somebody who's looking after you. I mean, you've. Uh, yeah, I've got my mum with me at the moment. I was going to say. That was <laughs> and um, yeah, I have my like my aunties and uncles. I come from like my parents are Italian, so like. This massive family, family that kind of follow me everywhere, so I'm not allowed to be alone <laughs> ever. I'm always, all my friends are my cousins, and we all went to the same school, mm. like a Catholic girls' school. So, oh, like. so do you ever get the chance? Do you ever get the chance? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Did you ever get the chance to meet men, boys uh, of your own sort of age? Well, I, I'm actually like. On tour, I'm just surrounded by boys. Oh, it gets I a bit them. much after a while, oh. actually, yeah. Really? I have to sit on a tour bus with them for, like, hours and hours oh, and no. share, like, Hell. a shower on a bus with them and, like... Oh. It's disgusting. I have to wear, like, um... No, what's it called? Flip-flops. Yeah. Be careful with that word because yeah. we call them thongs. So, uh, yeah, in the shower, just in case. Cause, you know, in case there's nasty boys things in there. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. So, can you believe, though, how, how big Sweet About Me, the song, was? I mean, it was number one, and I said, can you believe that? Or did you know it was going to be? Because it was a bit of a summer anthem, wasn't it? Yeah, it was crazy. I kind of didn't... It was funny because at first, like, radio wouldn't play Sweet About Me, and, like, it kind of took a while for them to, you know, to creep on. They're like, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? And everyone kind of went a bit crazy, but then... All of a sudden, all people started to play it. And yeah. Who would you say it influences for you? Whose career would you like to emulate? Who do you look up to? Uh, I love like I love all different kinds of music, but I love like Nina Simone, right? And like Nora Jones is like a modern person, but um, you know Robert Plant's my idol. I love, love oh, Led Zeppelin. Yeah. So uh, I love all different kinds of music. So Cat and Stevens. Are you on tour at the moment, or are you going on tour? Yeah, I'm on tour. Just finished my UK tour, and then um, I'm off to Germany this week. So. Fantastic. So, new single, sweet. album's out, and you're on tour. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, lots of things going on. Yeah. And you're going to perform for us later on, right? Yes. yes. Perfect. Thank you so much for joining us, Gabriella Chilney. Thank you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 we'll take another breather here, but join us in a few minutes to find out who is described as lazy and who is described as rude at school. Mm, back soon. <laughs>